if you have a horizontal wall crack on your basement wall, you probably have a problem. Sometimes you can't see these, but on the exterior, you can see small vertical cracks on the ends. Sometimes you could look at it sideways and you'll see how the wall isn't level. Well, that means that the basement wall, probably behind the drywall or behind the paneling, is cracking, bowing, and possibly failing. Usually this occurs when the drain tile systems or grading situations become poor. What happens is many times over the years, the drain tile systems or storm systems get silted or plugged up by tree roots, especially if there's any large trees in front of the house or trees that are too close to the home. This soil pressure builds up and exerts pressure, causing cracks and step cracks on the inside. Generally, you need to think about how you're going to stop the water first. Usually, waterproofing is probably your best bet. Now, some people will do it on the exterior, some people will do it on the interior. The second is, how are we going to fix the wall? Well, we could just remove the wall and replace it. That's quite expensive. We can remove part of the wall and replace part of it. Yeah, that's pretty expensive too. Um, maybe we could get one of these waterproofing companies to glue some metal tape on the wall. Now this stuff is being used by a lot of water comp waterproofing companies because it's not that hard to do. They basically glue some fabric against the wall and the fabric basically causes the loading to spread and, it, and they say it'll stop the horizontal crack and usually it does. Unfortunately, it also can cause tipping and shearing. So this type of repair doesn't do anything for tip or shear, but it does function most of the time. Other companies will put steel channels and those are vertical supports. And you know, the channels aren't that strong and that soil load is very, very intense. And many times these will bend. Other times people will install round columns with beams. Now these people, are definitely reading a book that I've never seen before because this just doesn't work. This is actually ridiculous, but I see it all the time. Now, the proper way of resupporting a wall would be with vertical I-beams. The I-beams generally need to be put in the ground and you could cut the concrete and put them in the ground or you could pour a footer. And when you pour the concrete back on the floor of the basement, it'll kind of like pin it. And then you need to resupport it up in the joist and that way you could transfer some of that loading to more than a couple joists and that needs to be done and then you might have to shim it on the back wall now if you want to fix a bowed wall well that's a little bit more expensive so you dig the outside of the wall and you waterproof it and then you push the wall back and then you have to put in steel supports columns or if you want to use I-beams regardless or replace the wall with a, with a, a thicker 12-inch uh, block wall, maybe grout filled with, with rebar. Other repairs that work but aren't the greatest are wall anchors. A lot of times they put these wall anchors in and sometimes you have to torque them on the inside or on the outside and they usually warranty them so if the crack moves, which it does sometimes upper or lower, they come back and put another one in. And so these wall anchors basically do hold the wall but they're kind of point loading whereas a steel column I talked about is like breaking the wall into two walls. When you break the wall into two walls with steel columns supports, then you have less loading and you have less of a chance of failure. Whereas the plates are just small areas and surface areas of support. You can also check your wall to see how much it has bowed. You can use a homemade level system or you can use a four foot or eight foot level or you could use a plumb bob with a tape measure and that gives you an idea how much the wall has moved. Regardless, you're gonna to have to A, stop the water source and figure out how to make your drain tile and storm system properly function and make sure the water runs away from your home. Second, you're gonna to have to stop that wall from moving. Once the wall bows and cracks, it has eccentric loading and may continually fail and caulking.
surely doesn't work. 